Attack Life. Ever heard of him? I hadn't either. Until recently, on a couple of the channels we follow, the name started popping up, like on the Den of Tools, Workshop Attic, and even on Project Farm. We were contacted by the folks over at Tack Life and asked us if we would look at any of their tools. And I'll be honest, we get seven or eight requests like that every week, and we usually just blow it off. There are all these random brands that seem to pop up and disappear. But for Tack Life, I jumped onto Amazon, looked at their store, and sure enough, they had an absolute crap ton of tools um, in all different categories. So probably OEM kind of stuff, they're slapping their name on it and selling it. But the truth is, I looked at a lot of the reviews, and a lot of them were really good. So I took a look at everything they offered, and nothing really caught my eye until I got to this. You see, here at Belts and Boxes, we live on five acres, about three of which are completely wooded. And I've got a lot of trees I needed down, firewood to make, and a lot of branches I gotta get rid of. And we've been burning it all. Someone suggested go look at an electric wood chipper. The thing is, typically wood chipper reviews were really, really poor. And the reviews were immediately flooded with people saying, I put something that was just under an inch and it broke it and it never worked again. So I thought, all right, Tac Life, you wanna let us give it a shot? Send me your wood chipper and we'll see what it does. So this is the TKWS-01A. This is a 15 amp wood chipper, which is about the max you're going to get when plugged into a 120 volt outlet. This, I figured, was going to be the hardest thing for us to test. I've got plenty of wood. I was gonna beat the crap out of this thing and see what happens. Honestly, I am thrilled with this thing. First of all, the max capacity is rated at 1.72 inches, which is an unusually very exact amount, but fair enough. We kept it at that. Everything we fed into this machine, it had absolutely no problem breaking up into mulch. And yes, I did exactly what you think I'd do. I got something a little bit bigger than 1.7 inch and I jammed it in there anyways. And yeah, struggled for a second and then it stopped. I put it in reverse, pulled it out, and then it didn't come on. And I thought, that's it, I broke it, just like everybody said. Nope. There's a reset button in the back. I hit the reset button, it says right on it, let it sit for a minute, so I did. Turn it back on, I've been using it ever since and it works great. The best part is, it makes this really beautiful mulch that fortunately, my wife loves. So over the last couple days, I've been going through a lot of my projects out here, setting aside anything that's 1.72 inches or smaller, and we shove it into this guy, and what do we get out? This absolutely beautiful mulch that works great. Now I just need to chop up enough stuff to cover the entire landscaping all over the property. Now we'll see if this thing survives or not. So yeah, we've been using it for several days. We've put all types of stuff into it. You can see from some of these clips, I put some very thick pieces of wood in here and it has no problem whatsoever. So clearly this is a machine that's gonna get beat up. As you can see on the inside, it's got a single wheel that spins and chops up whatever you put in there. I love how simple that is. There's not a lot of moving parts except for the one. So I don't anticipate a lot of problems, but so far I'll be darned if this thing isn't working absolutely perfectly. Now, typically this guy is $169, which I'll be honest is very competitive compared to all the other ones that seem to get really bad reviews. So yeah, I'd pick this one. Fortunately for us though, Black Friday is right around the corner, and when they sent this to us, they also told us there's going to be a code that will get you 10% off during Black Friday. So yeah, it makes it even more affordable. So if you've got a lot of branches and you don't wanna pay for mulch, this isn't a bad solution at all. Now, if they get us that code, we'll put it right here on the screen for you. If not, we'll definitely put it in the description as soon as they send it. But yeah, I think it's a good deal even without the discount, to be honest with you. If I ever do have any problems with it, I'll give you an update on Instagram, so be sure to follow us there. Don't forget to join me and Sarah every Friday for the Power Tool Week in Review. I got work to do.